All right, we're putting a rad kit from Wild Boar, and we're doing a center snorkel on a 2020 Rancher, and I'm about to get everything laid out so we can show you everything you need. And it's just gonna be same exact as mine, just with a different rad kit. We're gonna make the bracket and all, and just so you can see how to do all that. All right, first up, we're gonna take the airbox out, get it all cleaned up, silicone everything, let it dry overnight. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and fit the snorkel up, have it come out right here, build a bracket for it, and we'll have a center snorkel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bro, you saw, you talked all that stuff on the thing and it wasn't even playing. I stopped it and then handed it to you <laughs> so you could start it. You got two snaps at the very top, right where your hands are. There you go. Oh, fucking man. These can am owners just think they know everything. I don't own a can now. Let's go roll them up. <laughs> What the hell are we took apart here? Everything. Get rid of your plastic cover down there. This thing. Oh no. Motherfucker how it's supposed to be there. Hey, no trusting. Sorry about that. We gotta do our two hose clamps down here. And then we got our uh, intake air temp sensor. Yeah, I thought that we were going to get the satisfaction of throwing this bitch across the yard. Are you cussing again? Sorry about that, man. <laughs> Don't want to get you demonetized. Damn, you still got oil in here. Dude! You still got oil in here, though. You did so good all day. some shirts so I can afford to build it. Where are you videoing? <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Alright, this is done. Your snorkel's on there. Actually. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pop this top off. Pull these clamps off. 
pull the sensor out, get all this cleaned up, and then I'm going to start sanding down the plastic all around the coupler, and then go ahead and lay some RTV down. For this one, I'll probably just dielectric grease the lid for now until we figure out what he wants to do with it. So, pick back up here in just a second. I don't like thunder, does it? No. I'm gonna sand all this stuff down. You took those off, don't you? Hmm? You're taking those off, don't you? And what that crap is. You got that factory sealed air box. That must work. Other than when I put that dielectric on top of it. Which I don't know how that works. Why don't you ask me what I'm doing? <laughs> hey, teach me that. YouTube school. Pulling these boots out so I can get them all sanded down. But doing this, never have to touch a snorkel again. start you reckon two tubes is enough too much We're gonna be able to take this thing out in the Gulf. <laughs> I think I'm playing. Good deep sea fishing. Yep.
gently rub it in and make it look professional. <laughs> but you gotta lick your fingers so it don't stick. It don't taste that good either. See that? Clean finger. All right, so this is all you need for this snorkel kit. We're gonna come out of the air box with a one and a half inch PVC coupler, and then go to about five inches of one and a half PVC connected to a one and a half inch rubber coupler that'll go from the PVC to our spa hose. We'll run the spa, like about four foot of spa hose to the front of the bike running into this rubber coupler which is a one and a half inch to two inch connect it to about six inches of two inch pvc into our two inch pvc 90 and then go to a pvc 45 and you can have the two inch piece of snorkel however tall you want your snorkel I'm just testing this out to see what uh how I need to bend up the bracket. Not go right there. Bracket come right off the ride kit. We're only building front to back because we're waiting on the airbox to dry, so it'll be a little bit. So what are you doing? Making our mark so we can line this up with the right angle and not mess anything up. We're gonna do it on both sides. So we can have it perfect. On both sides, let it dry. Just glad it ain't the first snorkel. First 2020. For me. Let that first coat dry and then come back and hit it again. Probably another time after that as well. Got the bracket bent up, so we're about to test fit it, see where we need to drill the holes. You want to slide it in there? <laughs> All right, so air box, I let it dry overnight just so we didn't have any issues putting it in so nothing would break loose. And I'm going to try to get the snorkel thrown on. I'll probably throw the GoPro on so you can see. I don't have anybody here to film right now. So I'm going to pull the seat off and the center plastic air box is going in. And then just going to build the snorkel up.
Let's see if I can get this in there with the pipe already in the boot. Slide the airbox full. We'll go ahead and plug in the uh, air intake sensor, temp sensor. slide this piece of one and a half inch coupler in the uh, snorkel. Then next we're going to use a 1.5 inch rubber coupler to go onto the PVC pipe coming out of the air box. Anytime I put the spa hose into a rubber coupler, I like to see how deep it goes and then mark it, pull it out, and then just run a bead of black RTV around there and then slide it back in, tighten it up, and then you'll be done with that. Before I put the RTV on, I just want to go ahead and feed this hose up front so I don't have to worry about breaking a uh, seal or anything. Watch drying. Goes in to about right there. Uh, wet my finger, pat it down a little bit. And probably zip tied up right there, just so it stays out of the way of that plastic. And I'm just going to feed this back through where I want it to go, mark how much we need to cut off, and then just cut it. And we need 
need the two and a half inch to one and a half inch coupler. tighten it up on the PVC side then check our link for the uh, flex hose again and then we can put some more RTV on it before we put it in And I already bent up the um, bracket for the snorkel. It's gonna sit just like this. If I can get it twisted right. Bracket's gonna go there. Bolt right up. We just don't have the right U-bolt, so can't do that yet. <clears throat> but other than that, snorkel's done. We're gonna grease this lid. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get the uh, filter thrown back in. And uh, snorkel's all done. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and put the 90 on the top. 